Hey y'all, I'm back for another video. So today is packaging day and these are the pre-orders that I have that I'm going to be shipping from home. And so there are a few extra items in here um, because all pre-orders received by June the 12th, 2020 received the free journal charm. So if you like this video, if you're interested in it, please give me a thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get started. So all of the items that I'm using here, I will link some of the shipping supplies. I will tell you the company that I got them from. But to start off with the boxes, I got those from Bacola. Um, I found that website online and um, I really don't hear anyone really talking about this company. And they do have reasonable prices. And I got these custom boxes sized to fit my journal. So I sized up my journal and I made sure that the size that I ordered, at first I ordered a sample and then once the sample came in I made sure it fit and everything and so it worked for me. And so I just got them in the all white and these, this particular box dimension is 9 by 7.5 by 2. So I'm just right now just making sure that I take off any of the paper particles off of the journal. Um, and these are the bubble wraps. I'm going to go ahead and slide them into to, just to protect it during shipping to make sure that it does not get damaged or um, scratched up. And I got these um, bubble, I don't know, bubble sleeves from Uline. So the package that I um, ordered came with a thousand. So I'll be having enough for a while now. Okay, so this is pretty easy, and I like it because it has the peel and stick. Um, I really like that about the bubble wrap. And you guys, I have I will be posting another video just to got to, just to tell you guys the whole process with me starting my journal um, business, and it's 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 just so oh my gosh overwhelming. So throughout this process, I gained weight and everything. That's how stressed out I was with the process. But as you can see, everything is coming together so nicely. So stay tuned for that, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my personalized thank you cards. I won't actually be using these cards for every single order. I do have special made thank you cards. But this is just to explain to you everyone who pre-ordered that I add the I added a charm and how to use it and things like that and just to tell them how I really appreciate their support each journal comes with a diamond bling pen and the it's black ink so all orders come with that I had to go grab the packing slip just to make sure I didn't forget to put that into the package. And so the next thing is the journal charm. So these are super, super cute, you guys. Do you see this? So I actually made every single charm. So I do have a um, silhouette machine that I use to cut the vinyl. And I bought the acrylic disc. And I just put everything together. Super cute. Okay, so I'm going to add that in there. And so this is like my first time packaging these. And so I'm just trying to make sure that everything is laid down perfectly so nothing gets damaged um, during shipment. So these are my business cards. I'm just going to put one business card in there. And you see me, I'm putting some candy um, just to, you know, leave something sweet for my customers. Um... I add Skittles or Starburst in each of the um, packages. And as you can see, the the card that I have in my hand right now is my thank you card. And it serves two purposes. It's actually a bookmark as well. So one side is my little thank you note to my customers. And then the other side is a bookmark. Later on in this video, I'll show you a close up. So now everything is nicely packaged and I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything up. And you guys I have OCD so things have to look a certain way or I just can't, I just can't move on. I can't function. And so I'm just going to go ahead and take um, just tissue paper and wrap everything up. 
Um, I did use a local company to print out all of my business cards, my bookmarks slash thank you cards, um, and my stickers. Um, as you can see, the stickers that I have are two inch, two inches in diameter, and um, I use that to seal the tissue paper. And I also add this sticker onto the cover of my box. And um, I got everything same day printing, and I was so so happy because it was on a Friday. They was able to squeeze me in. I placed my order around 9 a.m. and I was able to get everything to me by four, like four o'clock. They told me to it, my my um my order was ready. So the, I'll link that company. And I'm in Jacksonville, um, Florida. So I don't know if this company is in other cities, but hey, I was so happy that they was able to um print my order the same day. Okay, so I added the packing slip on top, so that's the last thing I add inside of the box. And then what I'm going to do is take another sticker and place it on the cover of the box. I did not get these boxes custom printed, um, just trying to save costs. Maybe in the future, I'm not sure, but as of right now, adding the sticker to the box works for me. Okay, so these are the shipping labels that I use. It's from Paxon. Um, I don't have an actual Dymo printer or a shipping uh, label maker, so I just put these in my printer and it works perfectly. So, you know, and I'm using sticky notes right now to add the names of everyone onto the package because, like I said, I had custom letters and I want to make sure that. The letters in the pack and slip is correct in each order that I send them out correctly. And so I can really appreciate this whole process because, of course, when you're starting your business, you want to be profitable, you want to be making sales and things like that. But I am actually enjoying the process of starting small because I don't want to have an unrealistic expectation of first launching my business and being sold out immediately especially when you're first starting off. I'm building my um, my audience, I'm building my network and things like that. So as I'm getting these small orders coming in, you know, on a weekly basis, I really appreciate the whole process because I'm learning, I'm seeing, you know, what process that I like to package my orders. It gives me a chance to tweak wherever I need to tweak and not be overwhelmed and things like that. So. If you're starting off, don't be um, discouraged with the amount of orders that you may be receiving at first. Continue to um, post your content, um, market yourself, brand yourself, um, continue to be consistent, and just show up and everything will work out, I promise you. Just do what I say in my previous video, journal, manifest, script, just you know, have positive thinking. And all of, everything will work out for itself, you guys. This process, you guys, have been over six months that I've been working on this journal. And I'm now shipping out my products. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so humble throughout this whole process. So if you're in this process, if you're just starting out or if you're thinking about doing something, just go ahead and do it. I didn't have everything in place, but I was advertising and marketing two months ago. So I'm just so happy that everything is the way it is. And let me know what you think of my packaging. Let me know what you think of my journal and everything like that. So I'm open to hear what you guys think about everything. And if you're interested in the journal charms, let me know if that's something that you want me to offer in my store. Because as of right now, I'm just offering it as a free gift for all of my pre-orders. So yeah, let me know what you think.
this is me taking a mental note, just a mental scan to make sure that everything is included in the package and I didn't miss anything. And you guys, this is just a sidebar. I just want to let you guys know that I am very, very intentional on the products that I offer to everyone. And I just want to let you know that when I, these journals came in, before I shipped them out, I prayed over all of my journals because when I'm, when I'm working on something, I want it to actually make an impact in the lives that it goes to. And so with all of the journals, I want it to be actually some sort of tool to propel you into manifesting and actually <clears throat> what's going on in my voice today and I wanted to help you guys reach your full potential okay with the way things are going right now in 2020 it can be very depressing but there's still hope you guys there's still hope you guys don't need to feel like it's over or it's the end write all of your prayers write what you see for yourself you can still manifest everything that you want for your life, okay? So, please, if you have not watched my How to Manifest Your Dream Life series, I'll link those videos below. And you guys, if you're interested in purchasing your journal, my website is linked below. And I do appreciate all support. It really, really means the world to me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story behind me getting a bookmark as my thank you card. Um, I'm really big on reading and just expanding your mind to all types of information. And so with the bookmark, you can use it to, um, you know, put in your books that you read. And then also, if you're writing in your journal, you can also um, use the bookmark in your journal as well. So I didn't, just didn't want to put a regular thank you card. I want it to be something that you can use on a daily basis. So these are the poly bags that I use to wrap up each box. Okay, so now when I was ordering these poly bags, I did take my measurements trying to make sure that it was the right size. I did get these a little bit too big. However, um, I'm okay with these sizes because I don't mind the extra wrapping, um, the extra packaging. But as long as the item is packaged safely and securely that all that's all that matters um these packages were from amazon and um they came in a pack of 100 i think so whenever i run out of these i'll go down smaller i'm not sure but this works for me i don't mind making sure that my box is protected so i'm cool with that <laughs> 